Okay, well, we are starting today in the Thermont Goodwill. I drove over the border to Maryland, and we are here at Thermont. Uh, the past two times here, I've left empty-handed. So I'm not overly optimistic, but it's on the way, so we stopped. And uh, let's head in and see what we can find. Here we go. These are cute birds. They're plastic, though. Burwood Productions. There's two of them. I know there's three of them, but they're priced individually. So they're $1.50 each. It's going to be like four fifty. dollars I don't know. Those might be worth picking up. Even though they're plastic. Look at the eyes on that cat. It's like a lizard cat. Oh my gosh, look at this. What is going on here for 49? Those eyeballs. And he, he probably lights up if you put like a tea light in there. <laughs> I'm usually not one for hobbyist pieces, but that one's kind of fun. It's 449. What am I doing? <laughs> like plastic chip bird, weirdo rabbit. She's cute. She doesn't look to be a hobbyist piece. I don't see any markings on her. She doesn't have any friends though, I don't see any. The llama back there. How much is she? $4.49. <laughs> I always have to watch the prices. He is missing his fingers. Clear glass. This is the metal section. Take goblets. $3.49. My gosh, there's a crib. That's what I need. That's that looks safe, right? <laughs> Just kidding. Just fake flowers. What is this face here? Let's check that out. It's 449. It does have a hand painted enamel on it. 449 is pushing it. <laughs> Oh boy. Alright, I'll do it. And will I? Yes, I will. I like the looks of that thing. What is that? It's just an art pottery. Oh, it's Raku. <laughs> That's why I like the looks of it. It's an interesting design. And I love the contrast of that teal with that cobalt blue. It's $8.49 though. I do think it's worth more than that though. I think I could make some money on this one. It is raccoon and it has a really nice design on it. No. These look like Dorothy Thorpe roly polies because the silver is so thick on those. They're likely punch cups and they're $2.50 each. That's a bit too much. What is that in the back? It's a vase with some riggery around it. It's $1.49. Nicely applied. There's no signatures on it. No, no signatures. $1.49. I think that might be worthwhile. Check out that settee. Gosh. It's only $40 too, but it's not coming with me. Hmm. Oh, it's supposed to look like a pumpkin seed flask. There's a serious seam on it though. I like looking through the wood section and it's where I've actually had the most luck here. I smile because I haven't the slightest idea what's going on. That's, that's me. <laughs> oh, what is this? It's a little wooden box. Okay, no one is you and that is your power. Hmm? Inspirational. I'm gonna browse quickly through the lamps. This one looks like, is that turned wood or ceramic? I can't really tell. It's very heavy though. There's an old school desk. They actually have some pretty neat furniture in here that I 
You know, and this piece right here, even though I'm, I'm not taking it with me, somebody could really bring that back to life. And $40 is a great price on that. The cushions are nice. Usually they're not. That's a great piece. I missed this rooster clock. $4.49. Hmm. It's definitely vintage. Maybe Japan. It's got cobwebs on it. I think that would work if it had a battery, so I might take that with me. Okay, well our total spend there today was $35. And I do have to say that even though this Goodwill is hit or miss, and sometimes the prices are a little too high for me, the staff is always so super extremely friendly. They've helped me carry stuff out to my car, and they're just so nice. Um, so I don't mind coming here, even though I don't always find something. But we're gonna head down the road now, and I am at Crossroads Antique Center. It's been a few weeks since we were here last, and they have pretty good turnaround on their stock. So I'm thinking we're gonna find some new treasures in there to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. Oh my what? gosh, she's so he cute. He said, tell her $70. Because <laughs> when I saw it, I'm like, oh my gosh. That's a great poodle. Even though it's, it's clear, good. it's got yeah, spunk. You can grab it. Right. You can. Let's see here. I know. What's right. it say? Is it? Um. Okay, so I'm gonna take this cart with me today and be extra careful not to jumble everything up and break anything. That was a disaster. But I'm gonna check this booth here because the past few times I've been here, I've found cool stuff in this booth, and it's right by the checkout. So let's see what we can find in here. I see a pair of chickens in there. I kind of like that child something. Oh, it's a cool looking base, it's $65. A lot of you were saying that this one right here is probably worth good money. $75 as is. It's just very, very heavy and I don't think I'd feel comfortable shipping that. There's some Native American pottery. Let's get that out. Ooh, there's damage on the edge of it. Signatures on it. Yeah, that's kind of surprising. And the horse is great. No markings on him, though. I think he's supposed to look like a Sang Kai horse. Got that crazy blown vase, like a dimpled vase. They have 125 on that. Oh, I just love that color. It's like, it's like bittersweet, but it's not opaque. I really like it. Oh, and check out that one. Oh my gosh. It's a good bag. Look at this lamp. Isn't that nuts? It's made of lucite. What is the price on that? I don't see it. There is no price. There's no price. Oh, that's so cool though. Yeah, it looks like the price may have fallen off of the ribbon. Oh wait, no, there's there's a price up here. $275. That's probably right about on point for a lucite lamp like that. The fact that it doesn't have scratching all over is what impresses me because that lucite scratches like crazy. Hey, I know this one. It's Bill Campbell. <laughs> Let's see what the price is on that one. $22, Bill Campbell Pottery Vase. That's a smaller one. I think right now we have like a 9 inch listed. Sold an 8 inch. This one looks like it might even be 7 inches, but for $22, yeah, absolutely. The last time we were here, they had some really nice art glass in this booth. And I'm noticing this paperweight. We may have looked at this one before though. Diploma paperweight. I love the swirls in that, but I'm not sure I can do that at 65. It's just really cool. What is that made out of? Oh, that's tin. Some pink uh, milk glass. Oh, is that Majolica? Oh, his foot is broken. That's a shame. Wow, look at that bowl. It's Northwood. It's uh, amethyst glass. The iridescence on it is really nice though. Definitely caught my eye as I was about to walk by. It's only $28.95. Um, and our carnival glass has been doing very well lately. So I think I'm going to pick that up for $28.95. That one back there looks like it could be Costa Boda. So let's go in here and get a closer look at that pulled feather bowl. It's got a nice design to it. Oh, it's marked M on the bottom or W, one or the other. $15.25. I think that might be worth it. Um, yeah, that's the only marking. 
don't think that's a signature. I think it's just M. I noticed some scratches there. I thought maybe that was a scratch signature, but I don't think that's the case. Looks like there's some glass hiding back here in the corner. That's pretty. Uh, it strikes me as being more contemporary, though, than antique. I love the painting on that. How much is it? Mm, Twenty dollars. It's only $20. That's a nice decorative piece. I think I'll take that. <laughs> well, the cart is already making me nervous after the last time I was here. Check out the jewelry they have in here. It's some really, really nice costume jewelry. And I love that coin purse in the back. I almost walked away without acknowledging that beveled box. Oops. That angel just fell off the top of it. Oh, it wasn't an angel, it was a bunny. Oh. $35 handcrafted box. It's definitely leaded uh, with that beveled. I'm not sure, 35. A few carved birds. Hand carved nut hatch. Yeah. Oh, it is signed. It's signed under the sticker. There's a pair of them. Yeah, I don't know, it's 25 though. Those are fun looking glasses. I think I, I've seen these before. I can't remember. Where are they? Ooh. They are Morgantown Juice Blue. Hmm. This camel is great. Rare Stangle White Camel, $295. Of course it is. I still love this Louisville Pottery Cat Tank. That was so much fun. It's only $95. That's a great price for it. I just imagine it's extremely heavy. Oh, they've got some nice glass in here. I love that bowl. It's $50, though. It says signed art glass. I'm kind of curious who it might be signed by. Yellow check bowl, $15. Look at that. Wowzers. Crystal X Bohemia handmade. Oh my gosh, this makes me nervous one handed. That is such a fun color. I don't think it would glow, but I'm gonna test it. First, we're gonna put it in our basket, and then we're gonna go up front with the stuff that's already in our, our uh, cart here, because it's making me nervous. Let's see what else we have in here. Oh, look at that Yadro figurine, wow. He's super tall. 195 with the kitty cat. I guess he's a chimney sweep. He's got his, his sweeper thing there. I love the glaze on that bowl. Okay, well, I'm going to start heading up towards the checkout because I don't want to break anything. That's a sweet pig. Light the way to the trough candle. <laughs> Is that what it says on the bottom? No, I guess that's just what it's called. $32. Aww. He's sweet. I don't know at 32 though. I've never seen anything like it. This booth always has great mid-century modern vibes. I'm totally digging this chair right here. Uh, the price on it is $4.75 though. So it's a little outside my price range for resale, but I can still admire it as I walk by. It has some Moriage on it. It looks like the neck is a little damaged though. What is that? Only 24 bucks, but I'm not sure I can do it with the damage. I got some great glass here the last time, so we're going to check this out. Uranium frosted glass face. It looks so much cooler when it's under that black light, let's be real. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's see, there are some paperweights here. A little cut to clear. Nothing's jumping out at me, though. Not like the last time we were here. Look at those pretty vases back there. Who makes those? They're $29 a piece. They really do complement each other though. Chadwick Japan. Look really nice together, but I'm not sure I could do $29 a piece. I'm not sure how I missed this cabinet or this countertop the last time I was here, but this is fantastic. Probably just a display piece, but oh, what is that? 
Carl's Drugstore. Oh, neat. There's an article on it. This is his drugstore countertop. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that when I opened the drawer. That's a really neat countertop. A glass of dolphin. It looks like it could be Alexandrite glass. Kind of blue, but kind of purple at the same time. Well, it's only twelve dollars. <laughs> I guess we can buy it. Oh, wait a second. Look at all of those little windy meadows cottages. I don't think I've ever seen that many of them in one place. I like that Tonala duck. Let's see what the price is on that. Forty-two dollars. Says it's signed. Ravina. Rev. Rev. Revna. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure about that. Nice art pottery back here too. Those bowls are great. A set of mixing bowls. That vase right there is $65 and it's kind of fantastic. It does say signed. And there is a signature and a number up at the top. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely signed. Get out though. Yeah, I'll take that. Twenty dollars. I think I'll take that as well. What is this? That is fancy, isn't it? I love the butterflies. It's got some age to it. Also, forty-two dollars. Vintage Ranto bud face. There's a matchy matchy one. Not quite matchy, but they're pretty darn close. That one's $58. That one looks terrifying to ship, though. And they're not being sold as a set, so I think I'm going to take the smaller of them. And then I just happened to notice this amazing abstract pottery piece down here. It looks like it's $120. When I first saw it, I was like, $1,200? Why is that 12 No, I just can't read. Um, it's 120 I guess it's an Eric Booze. Artist signed, extremely rare piece, in excellent condition. So maybe it is twelve hundred. I don't know, uh, but anyway, it was really it was worth showing you guys because it's super cool. And I missed you, didn't I? <laughs> Mouse on a mug, seven dollars. All right, let's get that in there as well. Looks like that beautiful piece of mid-century modern furniture that I was admiring the last time is gone which means it probably just wasn't meant to be. <laughs> but hey, now there is a table and chairs. Oh my gosh, I love them. They're in such good shape. How much is it? 1800 for the set. Oh man. Hey Andrew, can you come and pick up this table and chair? Oh gosh, I don't need it. I already have a set. In the world is that thing? feet on it. Oh, I thought, I thought it, they were connected. I, I was very confused. I'm like, what is its purpose? No, it's probably just a little flower pot. Wow, look at those. A pair for $69. What? I love that. And a pair for like $69. I think those are definitely worth it. Let's see what else we can find in this booth. I wonder what that's made of. It's almost like a pewter. Okay, Surzen vase, early 1800s. 249. Make a note. I feel like we looked at this the last time we were in here. This little bird with the notepad. One is 25. Hey, look at that. Oh, he's got a broken beak. I was excited for a minute. I was like, wait a second, what is that? No, he's got a, a boo boo. This is the last booth I wanted to check out before we took off because I can usually find some pretty neat pieces in the case here. That awesome owl stein is still here. Look at those birds. Yeah, they're 350. Oh, I 
love this case. I think that's it for us though. So I'm gonna wheel this up to the checkout and I will get back to you guys in the car. Okay, well our total spend there at Crossroads Antique Center was $374. Uh, we got some really great stuff, some nice glass. I loved the poodle. I've been picking up quite a few poodles recently and that one just had a whole lot of spunk, even though I wasn't able to quite make out the sticker. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am home now, I'm gonna head in, uh, but I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.